Hi, Alan Socal. I'm going to be reviewing an item I'm very familiar with, a vacuum. And uh, this happens to be the uh, Umlo brand. It's the Model S9. And as you probably know, you've looked at the page, the Amazon vendor page. It is a uh, rechargeable, uh, handheld, uh, obviously cordless vacuum, suitable for vacuuming a house, uh, a room, uh, taking it out to your car and uh, plug a, uh, a vacuum head directly into the vacuum unit, the head itself, and then just hand holding it, walk it through your vehicle. They're very versatile. And uh, so what I'm gonna look for is how it picks up. And luckily I'm in the garage today and uh, in our garage we have carpeting. Uh, and uh, I vacuum the carpeting out here. So uh, I'm gonna uh, give this uh, device an opportunity to perform and then I'll make my opinions uh, known to you. Okay, well, as you can see, I've laid out all the parts, not as many as I thought, from the master vacuum head. Uh, the interface is either going to be this connection tube, which I believe if I push, oh no, it's here. Now you s oh, look at this. Look at that. Um, it is somewhat intuitive. You, it's uh, just sort of got uh, setting points, and you can lengthen the uh, tube, reduce it. Obviously, because I can see the electrical connections here, this end goes into the power head. Now, the one thing that I tried already, and it somewhat didn't surprise me, uh, first of all, here's the battery, and uh, I could see the battery would just basically slide in place like that, snaps in. There's a release here, charging point here. Um, with my other vacuum, which is similar design, you pull the trigger the first time, and you get what's called standard vacuum. If you want more vacuum, the other one has a uh, sort of a super vacuum button right where this one is. Well, let me show you what happens with this one. Pull the trigger. Not bad. Decent vacuum. I like the uh, purple light in here. But instead of just one hyper vacuum point, and then you pull the trigger to shut it off. I have to tell you, on the highest vacuum, I promise you, this was really pulling on my hand. Uh, lots of vacuum power, incredible. So, I'm already sold. Uh, it feels good, it's heavy. Uh, about the only thing that uh, I want to do now is play around with the vacuum head, as opposed to simply taking these attachments and uh, shoving this one directly in because it has no electrical value. It's just an extension of the suction. That goes the same, by the way, for this very popular little nozzle that you can get in between your car seats and so forth. Uh, that just goes straight in, snaps, and releases. However, if you're going to use the vacuum head, whether it's direct or indirect, it's an electrical connection. So you would most certainly, and let me just line this one up. Okay, that snapped in place. And um, then the vacuum head itself, and, and this, if you can see here, this uh, vacuum head right now, the carpet uh, sweeping head, it's got the, the fabric roller in it. Uh, one of the features of this machine is that, and I see a button here, you push in, and yep, and you just pull out. And if you're doing hardwood floors, 
This is a rubber squeegee device, and this is all intuitive. I've yet to open up the manual, but put it in like, just push it in like that, lock it in, and now uh, what's going to be driven by the small motor in here uh, is going to be the squeegee or a hard floor surface cleaning device. And then, of course, you have vacuum also. Two things uh, happening at once. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, I'm going to just leave that in there for now. Uh, what else? Well, this is simply a, a hanger. Uh, you put this up on the wall, and I'll figure out how that goes if I even use it. Um, but uh, right now, I'm anxious to try this out and see just how well it, uh, it vacuums. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull back because sometimes the vacuums work better pulling back than going forward. I'm going to pull the trigger once and use standard suction. And uh, you'll actually be seeing the effects of suction and the roller bar. Okay, this time I'm just going to use suction and the straight tube at the end. First thing I'm going to do is just drop the uh, confetti that we, we basically vacuumed up, and I notice there's a lot of dirt in the carpet too. Well, see, that's really holding in there. But again, I think it was a missed choice, but I'm glad I did it to show you trying to use the beater bar was probably just asking too much. This is more a vacuum issue, so we can at least see the effect of the super high vacuum. This is going to be low. You know, it looks like it's got an auto sensor. That's the highest vacuum. It also looks, and it was blinking red up here. Uh, we filled this up pretty quick. But uh, again, I'm sort of thinking this is really a good example of just how powerful the vacuum, the actual vacuum uh, pressure or non-pressure, the vacuum uh, uh, suction, how strong it is. I was, I, I'm frankly very impressed. Uh, so I know the beater bar works because I saw the dirt going in, and uh, I'm absolutely confident that this is an extremely strong suction motor. Uh, my only concern then, I don't have a backup battery. I'd like to find out if I can get a second battery. Uh, I have not charged this. This is right out of the box, and yet it worked. So uh, I'll find out uh, after a couple of months of using it. But again, very impressed.